So here at Embedded World 2019, and hi. Hi, my name is Michael. I'm working with company uh, Mirosis in Germany, and uh, we are a part of the development family of uh, DSpace uh, located in Germany. What is DSpace? Uh, DSpace uh, is a uh, company that does uh, extremely high precision uh, hardware in the loop systems and system in the loop systems. And they are one of the market leaders uh, providing such hill simulation tools for the automotive market. Hill simulation? Hill simulation means hardware in the loop. That means, more or less, uh, to say it in simple words, bring the reality into the la laboratory and do the simulations in the laboratory. So, is this your machine? Uh, this is the machine that we developed together with uh, DSpace. That's a very nice machine. What can you do with this machine? It's called, first of all, a radar echo simulator. Normally, when you work with radars and you have to test them, you would like to test them in distances 100 meters, 200 meters, and even longer for automotive applications. So, but it's sometimes uh, more easier to do all the tests in the lab. And so with, it, and with is our this the one here also? This is the one that you see here, yeah. operating here. It's in a live uh, demonstration mode. What is, uh, is it taking a signal in? It's uh, receiving a signal from a radar. It receives it, it modifies it in a digital domain and sends the signal back. And here in this high-speed processor, we are adding additional delay to the radar signal. And uh, if you uh, uh, allow, I would like to show you here on the screen. Currently, we have configured our target simulator for a simulation range of 180 meters. Let's have a look what is the radar sensor detecting. You see yeah. it on the right. This uh, peak shows at 180 meters. Yeah. So, and you see only the distance is, let's say it's, it's an inch, 30 centimeter, uh, a foot, uh, 30 centimeters away. Just to show that it's really operating, I would like to uh, add another uh, uh, range value, let's say 66, because I like the route 66. Uh, let's do the following here. Enter range of 66 meters. Look uh, above what is happening. Just in a few milliseconds, the uh, detected radar echo is at uh, 66 meters here. So, so is this for which industry, the, like the automotive? That's or? for the automotive industry. It's for those uh, industries that are producing radar chips, uh, those industries that are uh, producing radar sensors, and also for all the car manufacturers. And you know the uh, key word uh, in, in the, from the press is automotive uh, uh, driving. And uh, here you have, uh, what is this? Uh, this is a very special, and I can recommend it, it's a so-called experimental radar platform. This radar platform has uh, two PCBs. Uh, the key one is uh, with all the radar chips and the antennas uh, on this side, and on the other side, there is all the control logic and the signal processing. So it's, it's made by this company right here? It is made by a very famous uh, uh, Austrian company called Inras Industrial Radar Sensors. And it has a Tordix module right here, and um, so maybe I can uh, jump in. Exactly, jump to you. and Daniel right. should say something. So you, 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 uh, your module is in this device? Uh, yeah, exactly. That's one of the applications uh, our models are used. Uh, uh, radar systems, and you can use here, they used uh, NVIDIA uh, Tegra 2, that's a dual core Cortex A9, uh, for the processing on their uh, radar board. So, this company there just buy your board and they're able to integrate it? Uh, yeah, so we really make it uh, simpler for people like that, even like experimental uh, radars. It's very easy to get started, but you get an industrial. Uh, a module which you also can use in automotive uh, applications. So Tordex is perfect for experimental stuff? Uh, it is, but it's not just. It's really, I, I'm, I'm, they're probably going to deploy that in an automotive. Maybe they do some tests, extend the temperature uh, and all that. So it's people like to use it, but it's mostly because it's easy to use. But our target is really volume production, uh, things which actually get deployed in, in, in higher volumes, from a few hundred to a few ten thousand a year. All right, and so it's been stable to work with this, this board right here? It's extreme stable, so uh, it's operating almost 24 hours uh, a week. And uh, actually, I'm using this uh, demo platform since many years now. Uh, really very stable, and I can recommend it. Easy to use, plug and play. What nice. Do you, what, do you, what do you need more nowadays? Nice.